Hey folks, this is Fernando doing another video for the more survivalists. In this case, showing you guys the Victorinox Safari Hunter, which is a knife that they have in this box. It's I'm, I'm not so sure if it was offered uh, in this format with this box by Victorinox or if, if this is something from the dealer. Um, but this is the way in which it came. Basically, you have this blue box, little bag there. And inside the bag you have um, a pouch, a little bit, bit of uh, paper says Safari Hunter, kind of like a fake leather pouch. Inside the fake leather pouch you have the tool itself, the Safari Hunter Victorinox. This is a 108 millimeter a format Victorinox. In comparison, this is the standard 91 uh, this is probably be the best known uh, format of Victorinox, 91 millimeter, 108 millimeter. The 108 millimeter uh, format was first introduced with the German army knife, which is this knife that you see here. The German army knife was introduced in 1976, the design was um, uh, offered and uh, proposed by the German uh, army themselves, uh, most notably the utility tool which has a, a saw, cap lifter, bottle opener, a can opener, and flat screwdriver all in one. You also have um, a nice large blade, a reamer, good proportions as well, and a corkscrew. In the case of the Safari, this would be the civilian version. Um, well, it's, it's not the civilian version. The civilian version is exactly the same, but with uh, red scales. This is from the, um, the Safari series of the 108 format, 108 millimeter format, which would add a, a third layer to the GAC, the German army knife. You have two layers here. Here you have a third layer. So you basically have the large blade, nice large blade, Guys, check that you do have the actual markings always, and the markings are clean cut. Victorinox doesn't mess around with that. If it doesn't look right, if it seems uneven or not very clear, probably you have a, a fake, which they do float around from time to time. You have, besides the large blade, you have the uh, utility tool, which has a saw. As you see, it hasn't got that uh, metal protection that we saw here, it's lacking here in the Safari Hunter, but you do have that um, a flat screwdriver, cap lifter, bottle opener. Then you have the corkscrew, reamer as well, and what makes the Safari Hunter different would be the gutting blade. Gutting blade specifically thought for, you know, for uh, gutting uh, animals and, and hunting. That's uh, obviously its clear purpose. So as to achieve that, it has this slightly curved blade. It has no tip, which allows it to slip nicely under the skin of the animal you're gutting, you're cleaning, and that's that that's pretty useful because if, if not if you had a tip here and you use the standard normal blade there's a greater chance of you uh, puncturing or cutting into the intestines stomach things you don't want to cut when when cleaning game so it does have um, a realistic useful purpose again this would be a, a good knife for someone that does end up hunting with a, a certain frequency cleaning a game and does not want to have a, a bigger knife this one would do nicely for that. There's also a um, fireman model, again, also 108 millimeter format, which has a very similar, actually it's the same blade, only serrated, and the, the idea there for uh, of use would be to slide it under a seat belt and cut a seat belt without hurting the the victim also for cutting away clothing of uh, of accident victims and such basically the idea it's still the same sliding it without cutting and just using the the sharp edge for cutting whatever needs to be cut I think these are pretty nice tools. Uh, I had some comments from you guys mentioning that you started to use uh, a German army knife uh, like I do myself. I have it actually here in my pocket. Uh, I just think it's a, it's a pretty nice knife. This one is it's, uh, mine slightly customized with a clip there. I added um, 
uh, one of those uh, small flat screwdrivers to the corkscrew that doesn't come originally and the blade in mine is actually quite worn as you as you see but still very sharp still nice nice blade I did add a um, uh, clip point which makes makes it uh, to be honest I didn't mention this in a, in a previous video uh, I like the clip point I think it's great for whenever you need to penetrate into material in more delicate uh, cuts and uh, you just uh, do that better with a clip point you know just works better uh, compared to a 91 standard millimeter uh, Victorinox, you have a, um, you know you do have a, a size difference. Well, here it's not as obvious because my blade is is well worn. But compared to one that hasn't been seen the kind of use mine has, you do see a difference there. And you know, just bigger is some sometimes is better. You know, it's still within the limitations of a folding, non-locking blade, of course. Uh, I just don't see that it's uh, it's, it's not that bad. Uh, I would prefer if it did lock, but to be honest, um, for a pocket knife uh, of this dimensions, uh, anything uh, that would be like too forceful or you cannot abuse it too much because the dimensions of the blade uh, are not that big. So, uh, you know, for normal stuff works well for 90% 90, 90 of the stuff you're likely to need a pocket knife for. And when you need, need to do a little, something a little bit more forceful, uh, because of the larger blade, you can just choke on it like that a little bit more and get the job done. You have a, a thicker spine than the smaller models. So I, I like it. I think it's very elegant um, very uh, practical for those things. You have a decent, uh, very nice decent blade, which is the, the thing you end up using the most in these. Um, sure, they are um, sought after by, by collectors, but uh, still the GAC, uh, it's um, the, the kind of of knife that you're likely to find in, in surplus stores for for just a few bucks. Online they may be a little bit more expensive even though sometimes you do get lucky and find them for 10, 12, 15 bucks floating around. Um, sometimes it's getting harder to find ones in, in good condition. Uh, same with the uh, Safari Hunter. It's, it's not a, a common model. It has been discontinued um, for a few years now. I think they stopped in, in 2000 or 2003. Don't remember exactly, but it's not currently produced. These are things that because they're no longer produced and the, the numbers are limited, they do have that collector value uh, abo uh, about them. But um, you know, if it's something of a collector value, also uh, practical and not expensive, then that definitely uh, hits very um, interesting boxes in my in my opinion. Guys, that's basically it. The review of the Victorinox Safari Hunter. Hope you enjoy it. Had a great, uh, great day. Take care. Share the video, and see you in our next video.